I'm back with another review. I know it's been a while since I've done a review, but I've had the flu shortly after I uh, did my last video, the uh, the diorama for episode six. Anyway, I'm back on wave six of uh, the Legacy Collection, wave six of uh, episode five. I'm doing Emperor Palpatine today. He's a rather complex figure. <coughs> I've already, I'm sure you've seen this before, but I'll show you the back really quick. Um, I actually, I have all these figures now. I've of course done Luke, uh, Captain Nita, Leia in the white dress compared to the OTC Leia. Done the, I've done the Rebel Fleet Trooper. I have both Ugnaughts. I need to do a review on them, which also means I have all of you 3PO. And um, I need to put him together into a review as well. But um, I'm going to do Palpatine today. As I said, he's a rather complex figure. Um, oh, by the way, I haven't been able to get that other Rebel Hoth Trooper. He's very elusive. The one without the beard. Um, at least I haven't seen him up here in Alaska. Or... I don't think I've seen him on eBay either. I've looked for him on eBay. Anyway, um, I really like the uh, the packaging of Wave 6 and, and prior Waves. And actually, I prefer this packaging to the more um, angular, smaller package and the red and white of the of the newer figures. I think there's a, this packaging looks better. Especially like the, uh, the picture of Palpatine and actually the picture of all of them on Wave 6. It almost looks like a painting instead of just like some computer generation. <coughs> I'll open the figure here and look him over. This is, uh, as I said, a rather complex figure. Uh, one of the reasons he's complex, uh, Palpatine, of course, was played by a couple people throughout the years. And, um, of course, all of you have seen Episode 5, I'm sure. All of you Star Wars fans out there have seen it. <coughs> Excuse me. And you know Episode 5, so when they introduced the Emperor, at that point, you knew there was an Empire and someone ruled it, but it wasn't like Tarkin or Vader. You knew there was someone higher. At that point, uh... They show the Emperor only, only as a hologram in Episode 5. And that hologram, uh, it was actually a voice of someone else. Uh, it was a voice of a... Uh, let's see, I've got the, all this written down. The, the original voice is uh, Clive Revel. Um, and, of course, the, the face and body is not Clive Revel, but it's his voice. Uh, later on, when they redo Episode 5 and the rest of the Star Wars trilogy, it's Ian McDermott who, uh, who plays Emperor Palpatine. And, um, of course, Emperor Palpatine did not have a lightsaber in that scene, nor did he have a cane. But he does have, uh, in the other six movies, of course, these are two items you see him with. This is the lightsaber from Episode 3, and I believe it's the cane from Episode 6 you get with that. <coughs> also, if you've read Shadows of the Empire, you know he's on the other side with Prince, uh, Pr Prince Exor. If I I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, but uh, that's also an interesting scene. Vader is a hologram on the other side in that, in that book. Um, I also owe you guys a, a, a review on that, uh, that comic pack. I have that as well. But anyway, we're going to go on with the Emperor. Uh, it's rather complex here. I have a lot of stuff about him. Uh, basically, this is a new head sculpt. And um, the body is pretty much the same of the Order 66 pack, which is a Walmart exclusive. Also, I believe it's the same body as the Assist Evolutions pack. Um, this head sculpt is, uh, has a green tint to it. Also, Palpatine has a, a removable hood, as you see. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Let's see, um, some other stuff about him um, on the back. I'm going to go through his, um, his um, articulation here. He's got, of course, a ball jointed head. Um, he's got uh, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged knees and ankles, swivel hips, waist, and wrist. Um, the, uh, the new Legacy Collection figures are very, very articulate. They're some of the most articulate figures uh, made in all of the Star Wars line. <coughs> Excuse me. He's also got um, a cape here that's uh, actually was a bit of a trick getting this cape in and out of the uh, of the packaging. I actually had to redo that a couple times to show you what he was like packaged. Um, so be careful when you take this cape out. If, if you just buy the figure yourself. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I would like to use this figure in a diorama in the future. But um, a couple of things I'm waiting on is uh, you've seen my you've seen my review of the. Uh, the Senate Security, that's the cat, never mind him. Of the Senate Security, and I also have the uh, the other uh, Crimson Guard. But I'm, I'm waiting to see if, uh, with the new Legacy Collection, if they're going to come out with a new uh, Crimson Guard. If they do, I'm going to get like six of them and do a, an entire diorama with the Emperor coming on board the Death Star. Because I, I, I don't want to buy like a bunch of older Crimson Guards on eBay and then them having come out, come out with a new and better one. So I'm kind, of, I'm kind of waiting on that. You guys know I'm a big Imperial collector as it is. Actually, the Emperor, um, a note here in my private collection, the Emperor is my 96th Imperial that I have open now. I'm nearly to 100 Imperials. 
So um, it would be nice maybe if I get exactly 100 imperials to do some kind of diorama with him at that point. <laughs> Never mind the cat, she just wants out and it's cold out, so um, I'm going to keep her in. Sorry about the interruption. Anyway, uh, this figure is very good. I'm going to give it a 9. Uh, wave 6 is very special. Um, I'll turn him very slowly for you to look at. Uh, wave 6 is very special because Episode 5 is a very special movie. <coughs> it's kind of a cliffhanger. The uh, the bad guys win at the end. They pretty much win. They win at Hoth. Uh, Vader cuts uh, cuts Luke's hand off. Han Solo gets captured. And the uh, Rebel fleet is at the edge of the galaxy. Um, in a last desperate move, they have to leave the galaxy. So, uh, you know, wave Episode 5 is a, is a cliffhanger. And it's uh, very special to a lot of Star Wars fans. And um, this is a very special wave. So if you haven't gotten it, <coughs> go to the store, excuse me again, I'm with a cough, and pick up Wave 6, pick up Palpatine, and build yourself a U3PO droid. Uh, this is Supreme signing out, and thanks a lot for tuning in for the review.